All right, here we go with regret rating review for Resident Evil 6. And I'm just going to go over the main points of the game like before for Elder Scrolls, if you haven't already seen that. And then I'm going to finish off with the actual rating at the end so you guys know whether I regret buying this game or whether I enjoyed it, that kind of thing. So first off, we got value for money. I think I paid £6 for this game, including a bunch of downloadable content like for different things of some kind of multiplayer stuff, I don't know. But anyway, I got all that stuff and the game included for £6, so that's insanely cheap. Very, very cheap. And this is on PC. And this was all through Steam, I think, so then. So then Resident Evil 6 is also available for PS4 and Xbox. They've remastered it for both of those, so Xbox One, I think it was. And there aren't that many DLCs to actually add to the game that much, so not really anything extra you've got to spend there and the playthrough there's loads of hours included so it's definitely it's good value for money I would say but it doesn't have as many good features as Resident Evil 5 which was one of my favorites the game does feel a bit rushed overall so it's not the highest quality which is what I'm gonna move into next uh, the game is quite buggy we can tell definitely that it was rushed the release was rushed for Resident Evil 6, so it does have a lot of improvements that could be made. For example, it could be a lot easier to invite someone to join your game, that kind of thing. To get to the skills menu, it could be a lot easier. The actual like heads-up display could be way, way easier. So like uh, the keys and the like the I don't know. It's just like you gotta press. It's all awkward. It doesn't work that well. The huge plus though for quality wise is the whole campaign is co-op for the most part apart from one story which is with Ada Wong but other than that all the other campaign uh, scenario things that you go through are all co-op so that's a huge plus for me. And AI can get in the way so you'll probably see this in the next clip here. Um, the Leon guy or probably if you're playing with the other Helena person uh, or if that's the person next to you, whatever. Whichever one you're not playing is gonna probably get in your way more than once in throughout the gameplay, that kind of thing. You can only save at certain checkpoints, so the quality of the game is poorer than Resident Evil 5, for example. Uh, it does, the coding does seem a bit bad. I've just had to start up the game and it crashed my computer twice now, so my rating has gone down since then. <laughs> um, and that kind of thing, it's just, uh, just poorly made, not like poorly poorly made, but it does have a lot of things that could have massive improvements, it could have been coded better like to start up with and a lot of other things like that first NPC that gets stuck on a chair which you'll see now, that kind of stuff, you know, could have all been fixed but they didn't bother with that. Other things, so next we're gonna move on to features. So I'll start off with pros and then we'll go on to cons, so first pros different modes so you can do really easy or you can make the game really difficult which is cool because I like that it can adapt to whatever kind of difficulty you need then you've got a partner that can help you which is cool even though they might be a bit potato sometimes and then you've also got co-op which is online or split screen that kind of stuff so you can do online co-ops you can join through um, just like some random person in the world somewhere that can join into your game or you can actually invite your friends specifically off Steam or PlayStation Network that kind of thing or you can do split screen so you're offline you're both at your console at your TV and you can play together with a split screen so you're player one and player two that kind of thing which is really really cool and then the other thing you've got like cool little trophies and badges and stuff to discover throughout the game so it does promote that you explore things and open all the the drawers and look in all the nicks and crannies and you know like check the windows and stuff for things there's these blue badges throughout the game that you can shoot and that yeah that kind of thing so lots of cool things like that they fit in there the skill points that improve your character which is really good because a lot of first person not first person whatever this is third person shooter games don't have that option you're just kind of like your own especially in the campaign you're just like you get this character and this is what you use and that's it but this one you can actually improve your skill like crits for headshots and that kind of stuff so that's cool there are pvp modes available that are quick play games so you don't have to play the campaign every time you can actually just join into a quick like they're called mercenaries mode or something like that or even you just do like a survival based thing so you've got to go through waves of zombies and survive each one and to progress through the waves and that kind of thing so you do have different kinds of games you can play within the game which is cool 
but obviously they're not gonna be super in-depth or super amazing as the story. The other thing that's really good is you've got a lot of cutscenes and it is a very cool story to go follow through. Now moving on to cons is actually the linear storyline so not really that much exploring involved in Resident Evil 6 you just kind of follow through where you're told to go and the paths are kind of set for you. You can't go off the beaten track into like the woods or something and explore stuff. So you're always going to be stuck within the boundaries given to you, which are very linear, which is fine, you know, it's that kind of game, but that's just another con to mention. The other thing is not much survival included or involved in this game. You just get to find some ammo and herbs to heal yourself with when you're low on life. So it's just those two things you've got to watch out for, which is fine. It doesn't bother me because I, I, I struggle. I struggle with survival games. So like I've got to find water and make sure I've got bandages and all sorts of weird stuff like that I do die a lot but this is this is fine and then the other con here is there's a huge learning curve with interesting key bindings like I mentioned before and the quality not a lot of thought has got into the flow of your key bindings there I'm not sure how it is on PS4 or Xbox it's probably a bit more intuitive but on PC it's just like I would never use any of those keys for that kind of stuff so it's just a bit weird you've got to get used to it quite a bit there it doesn't really match up with anything else I've played and then the other thing replayable the game is replayable but it's just to unlock extra features and skills on a different difficulty so it's not really interesting to do really so once you play through the game once all your stuff gets stored so you can play through the game again on the same or a difficult difficulty or a more difficult level sort of thing but so you get to keep all your stuff from before when you played through but not really much changes it's just the same thing again and you can just unlock extra features specifically i think skills you get in resident evil 5 you got to unlock like costumes and stuff for your character which is really cool because i used to go through and actually find them so i could look really awesome and amazing but doesn't have it in resident evil 6 unfortunately so it's got some bad points there and yeah the last point I had was no more custom skins like in Resident Evil 5, which is unfortunate. But, you know, such is, uh, such is life. Maybe Resident Evil 7 will bring things back, but you're in first person mode, so it doesn't really make sense anymore. So the next thing we're going to move on to is friends. And Resident Evil 6 strikes very high for friends in this case, because you've got a great fully integrated co-op play for both online, LAN mode, split screen, all that kind of stuff. So it's very good. It goes up there with one of my favourites, which is Borderlands, but you know, it's a bit different to that. But anyway, it's what I mean is that it's got a load of co-op options for you to, to use, which is the main reason why I actually bought this game. So make sure if you do get this to play cooperatively with a friend, make sure you're on the same system loading up this game so you can play together. And that's that's like one of my main reasons why I bought this game. This is why I play this game is for the co-op features that it has because there are not many games these days that have um, co-op available with split screen as well which is what we started with with consoles and all sorts of stuff so it's one of the few out there but it is a it's a good one for that Resident Evil 5 was good better much better so if you're gonna get a Resident Evil game start off with 5 you probably enjoy that more 4 is a complete favorite for everyone that's ever played Resident Evil 4 is the best one but then 5 is pretty decent and then 6 it goes down again with uh, not so great so here we go can I run it you should not have any problems running this game on max settings if you do then I'm I'm sorry but <laughs> they do have all sorts of settings features you can play around with to reduce it there are bugs that actually make your frames drop so if you're experiencing like a ridiculous frame drop it's probably a glitch with the game and you might want to look up on how to fix that because it's it's another thing that happens sometimes okay and last but not least guys well it is least regret rating time so here she is please let us unveil what regret rating resident evil 6 has to offer us and it is a number two guys i'm sorry but i do slightly regret buying this game not fully not fully because it was so cheap it's really hard to regret it but in the in the time when I was trying to make this video and actually load up Resident Evil 6 with my computer, it decided to not load and it crashed my computer twice now. And I know there's a way to fix it, but it kind of peed me off a bit, so it's gotten a 2, unfortunately. 
just for the bugginess factor, for the incompleteness factor, and just the general not workingness factor. So this is what I've given Resident Evil 2. I'm sorry if I've offended any uh, Resident Evil 6, sorry. At number two. Which means, let me explain this a second, hold on. So regret rating, the negative numbers off to the left means that I am quite pleased with the game as it goes further along. As you can see there's a smiley face there to show you that. I'm quite happy with the game, I would recommend it to other people, I would buy it again, probably like three times over, that kind of thing. To the right we've got positive numbers and, a, and an unhappy face, which means I do regret buying this game, it's a re regret rating, so higher number of regret means I regret buying it more than a lower number of regret, which means I don't regret it and I actually enjoyed it. So that's the two things there. Uh, and I give this a number two, not like the number two in the toilet, you know what I mean. Anyway, specifically, I would have given it a, a lower regret rating, so in the negatives, maybe. I was going to give it a negative four originally, but as time went on and I thought about all the things that kind of annoyed me in the game, it went up to a 2, especially for the time when it crashed my computer twice on the way to this video. So, that is my rating of Resident Evil 6. I do slightly regret it, but because of the lack of choice for co-op games these days, especially with the campaign co-op feature that we don't see a lot of the time, for example with uh, Call of Duty or whatever, you'll have like the multiplayer section there that you can play with a friend, split screen mode or whatever, you can invite someone. but. The only kind of real multiplayer there is in the game is the just matches, the quick matches and stuff that you just kill people in, kill each other. There isn't really a co-op uh, campaign mode, apart from one of the new ones which I'm quite happy with. But that is my regret rating review for As an Evil 6, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave your comments below, I'm very happy to elaborate on anything or if you have any questions or anything to add, please let me know or let anyone else know because you know, as this is for everyone to use to help you guys decide on a game to buy, I wouldn't buy this game again, even though it's really cheap, but I probably wouldn't because of the, yeah, you know, I said it all before, you don't want to hear that again. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed as well and if you kind of got what I'm saying about the game. And Yes, so we'll see you again next time with another regret rating if you guys enjoy these, obviously. Uh, I'm probably going to do another one very soon uh, for a different game. And I will also check out Resident Evil 7 very soon so we can kind of like continue a comparison from 6 to 7. Alright, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again next time.